guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting and very requested video for you guys and it is going to be my makeup collection. So I'm going to walk you through my beauty room, take you through all of my makeup collection. So this, I'm going to try and make this not be a very long video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here is the entrance to my beauty room. So the first thing you see is I have this day bed right here and it's just got some throw pillows and things like that um, because I sometimes like to watch TV from here. Um, so it's um, got a, I have a Audrey Hepburn painting on the wall and then I have this nice shaggy blanket that I got a long time ago at Target. Um, I got these pillows. Most of these pillows are from Home Goods. The back ones are from Target from a long time ago. And then that one also is from Target from a long time ago. So if you kind of sit on the day bed, this is the view of the room. Um, I have a TV over there, um, my Ikea drawers right there, and then over there is my vanity that y'all sometimes so nicely comment that you like and so I get lots of questions on the desk and the desk is from rooms to go along with the chair it's part of the Cinderella princess collection and then those um, shelves are from Ikea as well as the Audrey Hepburn painting there's the door um, that you come in through and then over here is the kind of like a little nightstand um, I got that one from Kirkland's and it matches the one that the TV is on and so I just have a few little things. I love the movie The Secret Life of Pets, so I've got the little toys and then um, just a body spray and lotion. Um, so let's just go ahead and come over here. I apologize for the mess. I feel like I have too much stuff and I haven't picked it up. But anyways, so at the top I've got um, Christmas in New York from Too Faced and then on the other one I have, um, we'll get to there, but I have the... Um, last year's Too Faced Christmas palette. And then I've got the little um, Chateau. I've got one of these little lipstick organizers that fit all my, or some of my MAC lipsticks. Um, and so I've got kind of a little bit of everything. I have something from the Mariah collection. Um, this was from the Bao Bao Wan collection. Sorry. <laughs> um, Cinderella, this is Riri. Um, and then Viva Glam couple of summer collections, and then let's see, like the Kelly Osborne collection, Aqua Alluring Aquatics, um, the Archie's Girls collection. So um, this I got at Disney World a few years ago, and then down here I have some more MAC lipsticks. These are kind of a mix of a few limited edition, but mainly um, regular um, shades or permanent shades. So for example, um, St. Germain, Chatterbox, all About Town, Blankety, Myth, Flamingo, um, Sweet and Sour, Hoop, just a little bit of everything going on there. So, oops, and I just dropped one. So then coming down here, I just have kind of like a bookcase style. I have a few um, palettes. This is the Alice in Wonderland Book of Shadows, the original one. Um, this is the um, uh, Nikki Tutorials set, and then um, the Vegas Nay set, uh, and then the Ariel, um, when Sephora was doing Disney um, releases, this was the Ariel palette. So, and then the bottom shelf is empty, so there's still room for something else. Um, before we get to the desk, let me bring you over here. Um, same thing, the Too Faced um, Christmas palette, and then the Chateau right there. And then here I've got kind of a combination of the Kat Von D Christmas palette from last year as well as the um, Kylie, I forget what it was called, but it was like the Vault. Um, sorry, I think I just zoomed in without noticing. That was the Vault um, with that included like 12 of her best-selling lipsticks. Um, a lot of the Vice palettes, so the original Vice. And then I want to say that's like the Vice 3. And then this was the um, Vice Limited, and this is Vice 2. So kind of just have them stacked randomly like that. And then down here, um, I've kind of got um, not MAC lipsticks, but the funny thing is I've got like two loners here. And that's because I've ran out of room in these things, and so I'm kind of, I need to buy another one. So I've just been standing them here as I um, buy them and use them. But just a couple of the Clinique shadows, I, or lipsticks, I love these. This is the um, 
Clinique Pop. Let's see if it'll focus. I don't know why sometimes I have such a hard time getting this to focus, but um, it's the lip color and primer. I love these. These things are awesome, and I have a couple of those. Um, here's one of the Bite Beauty lipsticks, a YSL lipstick, which I'm not too super crazy about. Um, Urban Decay, y um, Makeup Forever, a couple of the Too Faced lipsticks, which um, are hit or miss for me because sometimes they just don't last very long. Um, the Smashbox kind of glosses that last a good while. The old school Urban Decay lipsticks. And then back here I've got um, when Star Wars Force Awakens release, CoverGirl had released a Star Wars collection. So I have four of those lipsticks. <clears throat> Coming down here I have another lipstick holder. And this one has a mix, mainly MAC lipsticks, um, like the Marilyn collection. Um, let's see, what's this? I don't remember what this one was. Let me know. Oh, the Pedro Lorenzo. This one is one of my favorite nudes of all time. Um, it was in the shade Peach Beige. And it's really hard to find a good beige like this. It's or a good nude. I really love it. Um, the, as I've told you before, these are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks, the Smashbox Always On liquid lipsticks. And then you've got a lot of other MAC lipsticks right here. Um, these are from, I think these were like limited edition. A lot of these are, well, Impassioned is regular, Sushi Kiss, Midi Mauve. So you got a lot of permanent shades in here. Well, some Viva Glams. Viva Glam Nikki was probably um, my favorite Nicki Minaj. Um, so let's move on to the desk. Um... So I'll start over here. Um, this is just a sample of a Tory Burch perfume I haven't used yet. And then I got this mug at Marshalls. I love it. These are brushes I haven't used yet either. They're still new. I need to wash them. This is a little Bluetooth speaker. Let me turn it off because I was using it before I started filming. Um, it's a little Bluetooth speaker that I connect to my iPad to watch Netflix or Hulu. And then um, I have my Glam Glow um, Glow Starter Cream over here because if I don't see those kind of things, I forget to use them. And then I um, have another mug that I need to fill with brushes. This was um, my boss and his wife at work were kind enough to give this to me for Christmas. So I'm so grateful. I absolutely love it. I've seen this type of mug on um, in a lot of YouTubers' videos. and it's um, So I'm very happy to add that to my collection for my background. Um, this little carousel was um, given to me by my grandmother years ago. And then, of course, I keep this little Clarins Instant Lip Oil here because it's what I use every single morning when I do my makeup. Um, these are just here because I have not taken them downstairs to wash. I got these at Walgreens, um, and they were in the Valentine's Day section, and I've told y'all I am a Disney junkie. So they had Beauty and the Beast, and they look really nice. It's not like, you know, sometimes you get Disney stuff and it has weird faces. It doesn't look legit, but this looks really legit. Um, so it's a pretty mug. It has a little rose in there. And then this one is Cinderella. And it says, so this is love. And it has the little shoe. And then this one is Mickey and Minnie. And inside it says, we're sweet together. So um, they, I want to say they had a Little Mermaid one, which Ariel is my favorite. Um character, um, but they were out at both Walgreens that I went to. So let me move these down. They're here because I need to take them downstairs to wash them. Um, and then this mirror I've had for a while. It was part of the Hello Kitty collection. Um, it's what I used to use to apply my makeup, but when I started my channel, I got that mirror, little stand-up mirror right there um, for when I do get ready with me's and things like that, which I know I don't do those too often. So these little doors open, and what I try to do is I put um, try to put my smaller palettes in here um, to kind of save space in that Ikea thing. So let's start going through these. Um, this is the, can you remember what this one was called? This was the Self Made Palette by Anastasia. Um, one of my favorite palettes of all time, I've told y'all, is the Modern Renaissance Palette. I have the Tartlet Palette. Um, and then I've got three of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows Palette. These are a really great deal because I will, their regular full size individual ones are so large and they're pricier than if you get them when they um, come out with a regular palette like this. So I want to say this is like $40 more or less. Um, and you get um, nine shadows 
that have a decent amount of product. And so this gives you the opportunity to try out a lot of their shades in that artist um, collection, in their artist shadows collection without breaking the bank and I'm having trouble. <laughs> So then I have the Kylie Kai Shadow Palette. This is the Burgundy Palette. Um, the Kat Von D Pastel Goth. The um, Ciate London and Chloe Morello um, Palette that came out for the holidays. The Moon Dust Palette by Urban Decay. The Electric Palette by Urban Decay. And this is the Morphe Kathleen Lights Eyeshadow Palette. So that's that. So coming down here, there's a lot of blush palettes. Um, this is the Gwen Stefani, this one is the eyeshadow palette, um, and then you've got the Gwen Stefani blush palette by Urban Decay, the NARS Steven Klein blush palette, this was part of last year, 2015's Christmas collection, and then the um, Tarte color wheel, the blush color wheel that was part of 2016 Christmas collection, um, this clunky thing. <laughs> Is a Tarte um, blush palette as well. It was from a couple of years ago. Same thing, same concept as always, just the five blushes. Um, and it came with a couple of hair clippies, but this is just such bulky packaging. And then this is the Hourglass face palette, the one with three of their ambient lighting powders. Um, so I've got that in there as well. Um, let's see. Right here in the middle, this is kind of like a... Um, letter holder. Um, I got it at TJ Maxx or at Home Goods, but it's perfect for um, it's perfect for putting in things like um, highlighter palettes that you want to use that you don't want to have to go dig through for um, get dig through your collection for. Um, this is the Star Palette by Natasha Denona, and then right here I have countless glow kits by Anastasia. Y'all know those are some of my favorite things. Um, this is the one that came out for Christmas. And then here you got a couple eyeshadow palettes. The Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette, which is really good. And it's like $10 at Ulta, so it's a really good price for the quality. And then the Huda Beauty palette. And then another glow kit. And then here is um, the Anastasia contour kit. Which I find that I don't use contour kits as much. I don't, I don't know why. Um, the Sigma Creme de Couture that came out a couple, or a few years ago. Um... And it was like a, it's a pastel shadows um, palette, and I love it. When I use the NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil, um, it just comes out really, really nicely. And then, last but not least, sorry, um, is the um, Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. And then right over here, I've got um, my brushes. So my Beauty Blender, it's still drawing right now because they just did my makeup. Um, the Locket... Um, setting powder, the Kylie Peach palette, which I will have a review coming up very soon as well. I will film that after I film this video. Um, one of the um, Glitter and Glow by Stila and Smoldering Satin, because I used this last night. And then my eye brushes I keep in here, and my face brushes I keep in here. This mug is also from Disney World. And then just a couple of miscellaneous things back here. It's just a Bath & Body Works lotion because my hands get dry when I'm doing my makeup for whatever reason. And then the Mario Badescu Rose um, Spray, since I am out of Fix Plus. Um, okay, let's move on. Um, right over here I've got some Tarte brushes in this little box. This was from their Christmas set a couple of years ago. I um, have the Shade and Light palette. This is the Contour palette. I will say that a subscriber had um, kind of brought to light some, I guess the Shade and Light Eye Palette had some shadow names that were um, a little controversial, um, and so as I was doing some research, it I did find that out for sure, and so I did get rid of that one because as y'all know, I am a Christian, and I just don't think there are certain things I'd really like to have in my home, um, but I did hold on to this one because I didn't see anything that was really controversial with those names, but anyways, moving forward. Um, I've got a lot of the little Too Faced palettes, and one of these was in my declutter video. Um, some, most of them I couldn't bear to get rid of, but these now they come in these little metal tins. This is the um, Too Faced a la mode, and then this one's the matte version. I'm sorry, that's the Boudoir Eyes, so that is not the matte version. Um, you have the Sugar Pop, and then this is the most recent one, and it was the Totally Cute. 
palette. And these are all stickers. So it comes plain pink and then it comes with a sheet of stickers and you kind of decorate the palette as you want. So it's really cute. Oh my gosh, this is this is one of my favorite lines. I love saying this. I'm I'm not Joe Cheese. <laughs> Super cute. Exercise. I thought you said extra fries. <laughs> Super cute. Um, so then these are the older ones. Um, this was the Summer Eye and then oops, um, the Natural at Night. And then here's the Natural Matte. Um, let's see. The Natural Eye is right here. And then the Romantic Eye is right here. And these cardboard ones, like I said, are the older ones, but I, they have colors that I want to get rid of yet. So. Moving down here, we have the um, Kat Von D uh, Esperanza palette. And then this is a Stila palette. Um, I don't even know that I... Uh, the Double Duty Beauty Classic Courage. Um, there was also one for that was a little, I think, like smokier. And I ended up getting that one as a gift. Or to give as a gift for um, a friend. And then the Becca Jaclyn Hill. This one was real controversial because a ton of people had bad experience with it as far as pigmentation. Mine actually was one of the good ones, I think, so I ended up holding on to it. Um, the Buxom Create Your Own. These shadows, if you have not tried these shadows, they are so incredible. The pigmentation is so amazing on these and they have such a variety of colors. Uh, I love them. I love them so much. I created three different palettes, as you're going to be able to see. Um, right there. This one is more like neutral. And then I've got one more. The little bit of, you know, purples and things like that. So these shade, these um, shadow, blah, 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 blah. these shadows and shades are really, really nice. They just if it's $40, you get the palette and you get all, I think it's you get to sit, pick six eyeshadows. Um, the NARS and God Created Woman palette. Um, and then into the little MAC quads, which MAC shadows are not really my favorite. I feel like they're a little bit stiffer. Um, but I do love the packaging. So I usually end up picking up at least one if it's a collection I love. And then Smashbox. These, again, I don't really buy a whole lot of Smashbox shadows, but I ended up loving these. This one's Admire Me. This one was part of like a collection from someone who, this is like a graffiti design. Um, I don't remember the name of the person who designed it, but, um, and then another one in a, there were two of them, and I ended up getting one at the Cosmetics Company outlet. Um, and then the last three back here are MAC quads as well. This was the Riri loves MAC. This was the Sharon Osborne, and this is the Kelly Osborne, which this I almost put in my declutter video, but I went through so much to get this collection. I stood in line for the longest time at the store, so I just um, couldn't part with it. Eventually, I'm pretty sure it'll go in a declutter. So that is what is in here. Um, I'm not going to show my drawers, the two on the sides, because there's just a lot of just junk in there. I just throw papers and stuff in there. I'm not, sometimes not very organized. So I will keep my laptop in here. This desk, so it's really cool. Let me show you guys. Um, so this drawer pulls out, and it's, it's not a makeup desk. It's really meant to just be a regular desk. Um, but this thing, like for if you have a computer up here, this drawer folds down so that you can put your keyboard in here, which is really nice. So, and then here I have just my everyday stuff like mascara, eyeliner, um, lash glue. Sometimes I throw samples in here. Um, this thing was amazing, by the way. This is the new Fab or First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie, smoothie Priming Moisturizer, and I loved it. Um, I've got like a test, a sample of a Laura Mercier primer, and then I've got my brow stuff right here. And then this is the Becca, um, this is the illuminating thing for under your eyes, um, under eye brightening corrector. Um, I love that thing. And then right here are all my eyeshadow primers. And then my lash, uh, not my lash glue, but my glitter glue. So kind of vary them up. And then this is the eyeliner that y'all know I love. I use it every, practically every day. And then, um, so yeah, that is the desk. So now 
Let's move on to the little console that has the TV. There's some stuff in there. Okay, so the first drawer right here. Now this is gonna have a lot of the stuff either that I have not used yet or um, that I have used and wanna keep it in a box and it's just too bulky to put anywhere else. Um, or even possibly something I haven't even used yet. So let's start over here real quick. I have a couple of Anastasia um, gloss sets. One's the summer, one's the fall. It's too bulky. I don't like taking loose things or little things out of their box. As I mentioned in the declutter video, I got rid of those little Kat Von D lipsticks just because they're too little. So I like to keep this kind of stuff in the, in the box. But by the way, Anastasia lip glosses are some of the best ones. If you're looking for opaque and shine, um, this is the best option. Um, this is... <laughs> This is a funny story. I've had this since Christmas before last and I keep forgetting about it and I should probably put it to use. It's the Glam Glow Fizzy Lip. It's the uh, the Pout Mud. It's the one that came with the exfoliator and the um, moisturizer and I just haven't used it yet. Um, this is a mirror that I got through Sephora. It was part of the mini collection but because I've been using that Hello Kitty one I really haven't taken it out of the box. These are just a couple of the um, Give Me Some Lip, and as y'all know, I've done videos on both of them, but again, it's got a lot of little stuff, so I don't want to let it loose, or I just won't end up <laughs> keeping it. So, um, this is the Ulta Christmas in New York, Merry Macaroons. Um, let's see, we've got the... This was the Tarte brush set from this year. There were actually two, I think, and I ended up getting both. I have not used them yet. I reviewed one of them, um, but have not, yeah, I think I compared one to last year's, um, but I really haven't um, washed them to start using them yet. Um, this was the Park Avenue Kisses Too Faced. It has a couple of lipsticks. It comes in a baggie, and it was part of the Christmas collection. Um, the Coco collection, this was the, I like, sometimes I like to keep these, but I actually threw out most of them, so... I'm gonna throw that away. Um, this was the Coco collection that Kylie Cosmetics released not too, too long ago. It has about four um, shades, three uh, three lipsticks and one gloss. By the way, if you're interested in this, I think she's re-releasing it like this Tuesday or something along those lines. I wonder why it won't go back in. Okay, I don't got time for that. <laughs> okay, let me put this back in here. Okay, and then this is just a free little benefit bag that came with a purchase I did at Ulta some time back and I haven't used it. This I need to use. It's the Smashbox Light It Up. It was, it was part of the Christmas collection and it has nine blushes or most blushes and I think maybe a bronzer and highlighter or something, but I have not tried that out yet. Um, these I have, I do use these, but I keep them in their box again because they're so tiny that if I, you know, take them out and throw out the packaging, they're going to end up um, being decluttered. <laughs> So these are the Marc Jacobs um, La Creme lipsticks. Um, I love these. These are some of my favorite lipsticks. His The pigmentation is always amazing and it stays pretty darn well. Um, this I did a review on, but again, I also keep it in the box. It's the Burberry, the little mini four lipstick set. These are really good as well. Um, this is the, this was part of my first video. Um, the Extravagant Eyes. As I use stuff from these, I take it out, and then soon I'll end up throwing out the box. But for example, like the Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner, I already have one. Um, so that's why that hasn't come out. And there's a couple of things I haven't used yet, and I need to put those to good use. Everything else I've used, um, but that's why that box is still in here. I probably need to start using the rest of this stuff so I can throw out this box. Um, let's see. I better speed it up because this video is going to be so long. Okay, so then I've got the, and I haven't used this yet either, the Graveyard Girl Swamp Clean Palette by Tarte. Um, these are little wedges that I use when I paint my nails. Um, if you ever use glitter nail polish, paint the glitter on one of these and it'll soak up the clear polish and just leave you with the glitter and then you can pat it on top of the nail and it's just straight glitter. It's really, really the perfect way to apply glitter polish. Um, the Mega Pro Palette 3 by Lorac. Again, I had done a video review on the, I think it was a review, I don't think it was a first impression, but what you're gonna see is in another drawer, a lot of times I will use, um, either I haven't used makeup yet or I will use it to um, either, I'll use it for a few days to do an actual review for y'all or first impressions, and then it's something that I'm like, okay, I'll come back to to use permanently or to use on a regular basis, and this is, this is one of those things. I put it back in here, and I just haven't used it yet. 
this MAC bag has some of the Selena stuff that I haven't used yet that I did that first impression video and then I kind of forgot about it. Um, this is the metal matte palette that y'all know I love so much. It's still, I, let, I don't want to throw out the box, so it's still in its box. This one I did a first impressions, but I haven't truly used it yet. And this is the Kat Von D Too Faced Better Together. Um, I've done videos on all three of these things. Um, I just haven't really started using them permanently. Um, I've used them enough to review them, but then put them back in the box and forgot about them. The Tardis Pro Glow, the Mario palette by Anastasia, and the um, Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. So then over here, the Sephora Favorites Glow For It, which I don't even think I've taken anything out of that box to use yet. So, um, And then these are, this is the um, lipstick set for holiday a year ago, or 2015, by Kat Von D. Again, keep it in this box so that I won't get rid of the little lipsticks. Um, the Vice... I forgot I had that, actually. The Vice Limited Reloaded. I haven't used... There's some things that I have not used yet, and that's because I forget that I have them. Um, the Alice Through the Looking Glass eyeshadow palette. Again, I keep the box when I really like it. And then... Um, this is the um, Urban Decay Vice, uh, what was it, the four or the five? I don't remember what number they're on anymore. Probably four. So that's that. Um, but some of these eyeshadows I keep in here just because they're so bulky for, they're too big for the desk and they're kind of bulky for the Ikea drawers. So let me put this all back. Okay, and then there's nothing in this last drawer but really like blankets and stuff. I'm a blanket hoarder. I love blankets. Anything blanket, soft, cozy. This particular one is Jack Sparrow. <laughs> He's one of my all-time favorite movie characters, um, but just kind of a miscellaneous junk drawer. My Disney World Mickey ears, which I love so much, and then just some makeup bags and things like that. So, uh, Okay. All right, so... Um, Nothing really much up here, just the TV. Um, this was our um, photo, it was our engagement. Um, so it's engagement photos, but in a book for everybody to sign for our wedding. So um, so just so that you know the meaning behind this picture, it's got, he used to play football, so I've got his helmet on my side, and I love to shop, so he's got my shopping bags on his side. So, yep, just all our, oops. All our pictures and things with my doggy. <laughs> so, yep, that's that. Anyways, so, okay, <laughs> moving on. Over here is my IKEA drawer. Um, so I've got the, um, I've got a little Mickey lamp over here. Um, let me turn this light off so I don't blind you. I've got a Mickey lamp here. This is a little thingy container that came with a ton of benefit stuff that I've taken out. Just some miscellaneous stuff here, some MAC pigments, and then over here is where I keep my Bible and my commentary that I am using. Um, and then this little lamp is what is super bright. It's like an LED lamp, and it's what I have been using for lighting um, until I buy a ring light, but... Um, once my channel grows a little bit, then I will invest in one of those. But for now, you know, this is good. And so let's go ahead and get started on this. First drawer is anything lip products. So these are lip products that obviously I'm not going to stand up in those little sets I showed you or the little acrylic cases I showed you. This is going to be just a mix of everything. And so what, if y'all have an idea of how to organize this, let me know. Because sometimes when I'm in a hurry to leave and I'm trying to find a lip, uh, lippy that'll go with my look for the day I'm like you know rummaging through all this and it just gets really cumbersome but I have a, a kind of just a lot of a hosh posh of stuff I've got the Too Faced melted lippies I've got some of those um, melted matte lippies I've got Anastasia liquid lipsticks um, right there I've got some of the Tarte lip paints I've got some of the Kat Von D um, liquid lipsticks. I've got the balm. This one, by the way, is so amazing. It's in the shade Committed, and it's probably one of my favorite neutral lippies of all time. I've got a little bit of color pop. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, definitely can't leave out the Stila liquid lipsticks. Those things are great. Uh, let's see. Got a few. This one's a Marc Jacobs Lamarck Creme lipstick, and then some of these Sephora um, this one I think is one of the luster liquid lipsticks, and then this is one of the stains. 
So I really just have a mix of everything in here. And so these are really all liquid lip products. And then coming back here, these are more glosses. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of glosses, um, but I've told you the um, Anastasia ones are my favorite. Uh, let's see, what is this and why is this in here? Okay, so I have a liquid lipstick in the wrong place. Um, okay, so I have a lot of the Anastasia glosses. I've told you those things are amazing. Man, I have stuff like kind of all, oh, you know what? Okay, so these are over here because these are the metallic melted shades. And so because they're not as opaque, I think I have them over here. This was a, um, this was the Sephora Pantone Universe in the, it's kind of a fun color. It's the light blue shade and I don't wear it too often. I forget I have it, but I love the color. Um, everything else is really um, gloss. These are some of the lip tar. So this is really a lipstick, but because of the consistency, yes, I have it back here. Um, this one is awesome. It's like a blue purple. It is so, so cool. I think it was in the shade like Techno Pagan or something. Anyways, so the lip shaker, a lip balm. I think this was by like, Tony Moly. <laughs> the little lips. Anyways, so that's that. So just a bunch of lip glosses and things like that. Moving on to the second drawer, I have blushes. So these are all my individual blushes. I've got like a little blush palette right here, the Lorac Cheek. And then I've got a ton of MAC. Um, just from a ton of collections, Kelly Osborne, Sharon Osborne, the Alluring Aquatic. Um, and then these are just kind of regular, I think permanent shades. Like for example, this one is... This one's dainty. It's one of the baked ones. This one is uh, unconventional. What color is... Oh, you know what I got this? This is like a lilac color. I got this at the Cosmetics Company outlet. This was part of the um, Disney Venomous Villains collection. This was part of the To the Beach collection years ago. Um, this one, I don't even remember something about heat. I don't remember what it was called, but it was part of their summer collection. Um... Honey Jasmine. They had a collection that had like orangey type shades, Royal Sunset, and these two were from that. And then coming over here, I've got both blushes from the um, Archie's Girls collection. I grew up reading Archie comics, so of course I had to get some of this stuff. <laughs> so the, the Betty one is like a more fuchsia color, or a, a kind of a, I don't know how to describe that, like a darker pinky purple. And then the Betty one was a real light peach. Um, the Marilyn collection. And that was in the shade Legendary. Um, I've got two of them from the Hello Sailor collection. I've got um, the Riri Loves Mac collection, um, which is an awesome shade. It's super, it's like nude. Um, Immortal Flower is, of course, one of the favorites by Mac. Um, I feel like I went through that one already. Okay, so then I get into a few of the NARS ones. Um, this was part of the. Um, holiday collection from a couple of years ago in the shade uh, Almeria and it is so so pretty let's see if I, I feel like I need to perfect opening these with just one hand hold on let me see if I can do it yay I did it okay it's a super super pretty um let me turn this light on there we go super super pretty like orangey mauvey type shade anyways now, as y'all know, NARS blushes are crazy pigmented, so it's really good quality. Um, I have, let's see, Deep Throat, which, that's another thing, is NARS names can be very controversial, and so, uh, I don't know, sometimes I'm not really thrilled to share names from that, but anyways. Um, Desire. Luster. Luster is one of my favorites. And Madly, of course, one of, another one of my favorites. And those two are also nude colors, as you know. This Kat Von D shade, I don't even know if they make these blushes anymore, um, was in the shade Wish. And this is also a very neutral color. I like this because it has a little button. And you just push it. Man, I need to get better at this. <laughs> Okay, so this one is just like a nude shade, similar to Madly and Luster by NARS. And then lastly over here is another um, Marilyn shade in the color The Perfect Cheek, super nude shade as well. Coming back here, we've got, um, okay, this is the Ambient, ah, there we go, 
sorry. This is the ambient, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. I'm sorry that you're going to see my reflection with me and the camera. <laughs> this is the only lip, uh, creamy blush I own. It's Benefit Dandelion. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Dandelion Dew. And I love it. I am not a fan of cream blushes. However, this one is amazing. Oh, I gotta hurry. This video is gonna be so long. I've got some of the box blushes by Benefit, Bella Bamba, Nirvana, and Coralista. I've got a couple of the Clinique Pop Cheek Pop blushes. I have like the Peach Pop and the mm, Plum Pop. These are really, really nice. They give you just a flush of color that's not overwhelming. Um, I have one of the Sephora Baked Blushes in the shade Guava Glow. And then I have a um, MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Uplifting. The Becca, I think this is the Coral Blush Copper, sorry. And then a few of the Too Faced, um, what are even these called? Love Flush. Um, I have three of those, and then I have a couple of these boxier ones. Um, this was in the shade, let's see, something about Berry. And then I've got the nude one, Peach Beach, I think it's called. I've got an Estee Lauder Michael Kors um, blush palette, the Archie, one of the Archie's Girls face powders, which I use as a blush, the hour, one of the Hourglass blushes in the shade Diffused Heat. I love it. And yeah, a couple of Hourglass blushes at Tiger Lily, and I have Damselfly. So, that's that. A few of the balm blushes, Cabana Boy, Down Boy, and Frat Boy. So that takes care of the blush. Um, then we have bronzers and highlights, so I'm going to go quick through these. I've got um, Champagne Pop and Opal for Becca, and then I have got, um, oh, this was... Soft and Gentle, which I've had forever and a day, but I love it. I can't get rid of it. Um, I've got a Sephora bronzer. Um, I have got So Hollywood Highlighter by Anastasia. Um, let's see. I've got the two um, Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is the bronzer highlight duo. And then I've got a Laura Mercier Baked Highlight, a couple of the Bobbi Browns. It's um, Peach Glow and Bronze Glow. I have the Naked Illuminator. This was their very first one. I love it. It's super sparkly. When you apply it wet, it's even better. And then this I haven't even taken out of the box is the Riri Loves MAC um, Compact with the blush and bronzer as well. This is a Bobbi Brown highlight in the shade Afternoon Glow. Um, the Mary Luminizer, which everyone loves. Um, Alluring Aquatic Bronzer. Um, this is the Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light, one of my favorite. I've told you I've kind of fallen out of love with powder bronzers, but that one, I love it. This was the Dior, um, uh, the highlight that everyone went crazy for last year. Um, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. This is the one that they released around Christmas time. Um, and it comes in a little pocket, just really fancy. <laughs> and then I have got the, hold on, let me put this back. And then I've got a Cinderella highlight um, from the MAC Cinderella collection. Um, and then I've got those extra dimension skin finishes that just came out that I did a review on. Um, and then another Tarte blush palette, which is in the wrong drawer. <laughs> Let's see, another Hourglass um, bronzer that's in the darker shade. And then just kind of a bunch of palettes. This is the Tarte, high the first highlighting palette. Um, the Natasha Denona Glow, which I like to put all over the face. Bobbi Brown Veil. I use this for my wedding day. It gives you the perfect, I think it was meant to be for brides, and I ended up finding it at the cosmetic company outlet. And then down back here, we just have our um, liquid highlighter. So the um, Cover Effects Drops. I've got one by Buxom. I've got the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold NARS Copa Cabana. I love using cream. Um... Highlighters as a base, they just make my highlight pop. Um, and this is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This one was the packaging prior to her redoing the packaging that it has now. And then I have the liquid um, Becca Opal back there. A couple of MAC highlighters right here. These are pretty old, but I love them. Silver Dusk, and then the other one's like more of a bronzy shade. I don't think they make those anymore. 
Um, moving on to the next drawer. These are all my individual eyeshadow things um, that don't come obviously in a palette. So all of these are going to be my MAC pigments. So like Copper Sparkle. This one is Tan, which is probably my very favorite. Um, melon. I've got a couple from special collections like the Archie's Girl. Um, this one's not really my favorite. I probably will eventually back to MAC this. This is Lily White. It's a little too boring. <laughs> Um, this one is Rose, and then, oh my goodness, this one is so amazing. It's part of the Cinderella collection as well, and it was in the shade, let me see if I can read it, um, Pretty It Up. Oh my goodness, it's so sparkly and pretty. Um, a couple of Inglot pigments, which I find to be very, very nice, and then just, um, a few of the Stila, um, Magnificent Metals, and then I've just got a few more of those, um, and then, let's see, a little MAC Hello Sailor um, eyeshadow as I'm just messing everything up in here. This was NARS Outer Limits. This was when it first came out from the Christopher King collection. Super sparkly. This is what it looks like. It's amazing. They may still have it because they re-released these. Um, and I don't know, I haven't checked, but they may still they may still have it on this Sephora website. A couple of shadows from the Alluring Aquatics collection, and then we go into like color pop shadows. I have quite a few of those. These are some of the Moon Dust eyeshadows by um, Urban Decay. So all of these are Moon Dust shadows. Um, I hate buying them individually, and then they release palettes, but it is what it is. Um, these are from the Matte Christmas collection years ago, and they're baked shadows, and I love them. They just have such pretty pigmentation that I don't want to get rid of them. And then from the Disney Ven Venomous Villains collection, I have the two baked glitter um, shadows that had released. Um, back here, I've got glitters. Um, these are the Touch in Soul. Um, uh, what were they called? Metalist and Glitter. These things are amazing. And then I've got a couple of the um, Urban Decay, let's see, glitter liners. Three. <laughs> and then I've got the Estate Edit. This is the Burgundy um, Shadow. It's a cream shadow and then it's got like shimmer powder from here that you can use to set on top. Let's see if I can pop this little bad boy open because I'm having like a hard time. And I, don't, I hate keeping y'all for such a long time on a video. Uh, but this, this one's the burgundy eyeshadow shade, and it is in the color Scarlet Eclipse. And then just a couple of MAC pigments in like pink shades, a couple of balm pigments, um, more ColourPop eyeshadows. Let's see. I loved this box. I could not get rid of it. This is one of their dual intensity, NARS dual intensity shadows. It's like a purple color. Um, it's called... It's like pool shark or something. Yep, pool shark. It was part of their summer collection last year, and that was the shade I really loved. Um, Mac Rabble Rouser. You know I've done a uh, get ready with me with that, and then another Nars Christopher Kane eyeshadow duo. This is a couple more sparkly shades. Um, I will show you. Y'all know I'm all about the sparkly stuff. So there you go. So that takes care of that drawer. Um, real quick, these are the Lit Cosmetics Loose Glitters. These things are so amazing. I had gotten a couple before they, before Sephora start, stopped, started discontinuing them. Um, but these things are amazing if you want a really glittery look, which obviously you know I'm all about. Here's one of those glitter and glows that I love so much. Uh, moving on. Next drawer is just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Um, this one's going to be mainly as I put my finger over the lens. <laughs> These are lippies I haven't used yet, so I do want to do a review for you on the Huda Beauty lippies. And then right here, I've just got a bunch of lipsticks that I haven't really... Um, this, yeah, I've used this one. Um, but if I am going to buy more to do a review for you to have a variety, I will throw it in here so that I don't forget about it. Um, the Marc Jacobs liquid lipsticks that I told you about, or that were in my haul video. Um, some of the Mariah lippies, another balm, that one's new. And then I keep my translucent powders and my concealers in here. So, and then let me take this out. I get these little trays, by the way, at Walmart. Um, it's the best way to keep the stuff organized from rolling all over. And these are all lippies. Actually, I have used this one. This one's amazing. It was the Movember by Bite. But everything else I haven't used yet. Oh my gosh, it's almost embarrassing to say. Um, 
but like the melted chocolate, there's one of the melted mattes. I've got a couple of Anastasia uh, products in here, a couple of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, a couple of MAC. Oh my goodness, it's so sad to say. Um, the thing about it is if I'm, tr if I'm trying to leave in a hurry, I don't tend to reach for a new product. I tend to go for something I already know I have and I already know is gonna go with what I'm wearing. So anyways, but that's that drawer. Next, I have the drawer I told you about earlier. It's either products that I haven't used yet or products that I've either reviewed on the channel and just haven't, um, haven't gotten to where I'm gonna use them ongoing. But anyways, a couple of Benefit Box shadows. Just a lot of stuff in here. This is a Benefit eye cream. Um, this is one of those Dior Skin highlighters um, that they just re-released. Um, Tardis Blush Palette, which has been here for a while. I need to just use it. One of the Laura Geller um, Illuminators. This one's in Charming Pink. Uh, let's see. The NARS Blush Palette that just came out. That's the orangey version. This is the Hourglass Blush Palette that just came out. Um, I've reviewed both of these. These are the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. Um, but I, there's other things I want to use ongoing first, so I put them back in here. Um, yeah, this one is Bobbi Brown Beach Shimmer Powder, and it's supposed to, it's fragranced with the, the um, fragrance Beach. Uh, what other goodies? Marc Jacobs Spotlight Highlighter. If you see anything in here that you want a review on, just let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you. Some of the stuff I have reviewed, some of the stuff obviously I haven't, so just let me know. Um... This is the Pro Palette, I think like three or something from Lorac. Oh, I have a little spongy in here. I think that one came in my Sephora play box some months ago. Yep, Pro Palette three. Um, I did a review on this already. This was the After Dark by Urban Decay. And a subscriber did ask me for a get ready with me. I have not forgotten about you. It crossed my mind today. So I am going to try and do that within the next few days so I can get that up for you. I'm very, very sorry. Y'all know I love it when you request things from me. And so I try to do them um, as soon as I can. It's just that uh, sometimes it's not as soon as I'd like. Uh, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette collaboration. What is this? Oh, I already did a video on this and I had forgotten about it. I think it was because I was kind of disappointed in it. The Hourglass Ambient Palette that came out that I had said this was not really suitable for all skin tones. The Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette. So old. Oh my goodness, there's things in here I really need to use. Tarlet and Bloom. Way behind the eight ball on some of these things, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, the, um, the the NARS Sarah Moon. Um, this was the lip Velvet Lip Glide Set, which was okay. I don't know how it was if I was super thrilled about that product. But anyways, what's this? Oh, the Marc Jacobs Airbrush. These are so amazing. This one's in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. These things are so awesome. Um, and then a couple of the Mariah items. And then uh, this one's the Estee uh, Gritty and Glow palette that was released for Christmas, a couple of the things I got for Christmas from the Kylie collection, the mini matte lipstick, the full size set of lipsticks, and then the eyeshadow palette. I've used one of these, but the box is still in here because I've got other new ones to use. This was the Lorac set that was released at Kohl's. These things are so amazing. The Mariah MAC eyeshadow brush, a few more of the glitter and glows that I need to use, yeah. And then the Sephora, or it's not Sephora, the MAC Selena. Beady Beady Bum Bum Lip Glass, which I was very excited to get my hands on when it re-released. I think that's upside down. Yep, but it's not going to focus till I'm ready to move on. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, guys. We're almost there. We're reaching the end. Okay, this drawer is kind of a disaster. Again, as I move my finger over the lens, I'm trying to adjust the camera because it's getting a little warm. <laughs> Anyways, so a lot of times if I really like the bag from my Sephora Playbox, I'll keep it with some things inside. These are all samples. So, like, ugh, a ton of... This was not a Sephora Playbox. This was like a perk or whatever, but... Sometimes I feel like I just don't use, I don't know, I need to learn to use samples as soon as I get them because if I box them up or if I put them away, I forget about them. Anyways, this is also where I keep my lashes. Um, you know I love the Demi Whiskies. I have an extra Clarisonic brush in here. And then the um, 
this is where I keep all my foundations and primers. So I've got like the Josie Marin um, Vibrancy Foundation. And sorry, I got totally sidetracked because I want to say, again, if you have a suggestion or recommendation on how to make this a little more organized, please let me know because I really just, you know, stack my or line up my foundations and primers here. And so then in the morning, it's like, okay, where are you? <laughs> Anyways, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the Dior um, Nude Air. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable. This was the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation Stick. Um, the Ultra HD by Makeup Forever. The J1 Jelly Pack Primer, which y'all know I absolutely love. Um, let's see, over here, I've got the Too Faced Hangover, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion, which I keep loving ever since I've done that video. I still love this. It has not, I have not found it to broke me bright little break me out the hourglass foundation stick and then this is a small trial size or deluxe size of the hourglass um, serum fa uh, not foundation primer and then over here I've got the Armani maestro glow foundation oops watch me break one of these here so I'm putting them away <laughs> Um, the Cogendo, I would not repurchase that one. That one's not super amazing. Um, the Too Faced Born This Way, I was not super... Th oh, gosh. I don't know why I'm throwing these things. I'm not angry or anything, I promise. Um, this I was not crazy about when I first got it, and actually have not been crazy about it up until, um, I don't know, a, about a month ago, maybe? I have found that I am loving it. I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, I've got the Giorgio Bronzer. This is the Liquid Summer. I love it. Um, I've got the Mineral Veil Foundation or Primer by Hourglass. I've got the Mineral Foundation by MAC, which is one of my favorites for dewy coverage. Um, the Luminous Silk by Ar Giorgio Armani. I love that one. The Becca um, Filter Primer. I can't remember what it's exactly called. This is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Um, which is very moisturizing. Wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's moisturizing. Um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which y'all know I love. And then this is the MAC Face and Body Foundation for when I want to go really sheer. And then um, the NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer. And then I've got like a Lancome um, Luminizer over here. And I think that's pretty much it. So yeah. Uh, let me put this stuff back in here. Again, if y'all have an idea or suggestion on <sighs> getting this a little more organized, I'd be happy to um, listen to those suggestions. Okay, two drawers to go. Let me move this little thingy. Um, palettes are my last two drawers. Um, the Kat Von D Serpentina, the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. I've got the Pro palettes by Lorac. Um, the... Let's see, this was the Kat Von D Holiday palette from maybe about three, four years ago. Not my favorite, but, you know, her artwork is sometimes out of this world and you have to buy it just for the artwork. Um, this is the Urban Decay. I forget what this one was called, but it's kind of like one of those full spectrum palettes. And then the Too Faced Everything Nice Holiday palette from a few years ago. Um, ColourPop came out with this set year before last for Christmas. I love it. It's got some super shimmery, amazing shades. I like it when they come like this because then they're not all loose and rolling around everywhere. The Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics and the Urban Decay um, Urban Spectrum. And then this one is that super colorful one. What's it called? Full Spectrum. That I also reviewed on my channel not too, too long ago. So, those are eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to bother putting them in right now. And then we've got another drawer of eyeshadow palettes. Um, this was the Sephora Gem in the Holograms palette, and it, did, it didn't get a whole lot of good reviews. However, I love this palette. Um, and then I've got a, the Oz, um, Urban Decay Oz Great and Powerful eyeshadow palettes. Um, and then this is obviously missing, or I, have, I never filled it. This is just MAC eyeshadows, but I've told you MAC, MAC eyeshadows aren't my favorite. I love MAC for most everything else, but eyeshadows are just not my favorite, so it's never been filled. The Kat Von D Interstellar palette, um, and then I've got the Monarch palette, and the, I forgot what this one was called. One's called Monarch, maybe they're both, I don't know, maybe they're both Monarch palettes. Anyways, one's nudes, one's purpley colors. The Too Faced Pretty Rebel eyeshadow palette, I've got the um, Lorac Pro palettes, the one and two. The um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky 
palette, which has since gone on sale. Don't you just hate that when you buy something when it first comes out and then you're like, ugh. But that's just a gamble. You take a chance you take um, because something may sell out right away. Might, heck, it might go on sale. This is the original Naked palette. Never was crazy about that little felt packaging. <laughs> naked 2 and the Naked 3. The Naked 3 is probably my favorite because I love pink and I love the shades in there. The Too Faced Peach palette. Um, the Too Faced Return of Sexy. I've got the um, chocolate bonbons and then the um, this is the semi-sweet chocolate palette and this one is the original. You can tell it's the original because it's the one <laughs> it's the first one that came out. It's the real thick one and it's the one that has the little plastic sleeve with the names which all of us hate but you know you never want to throw out that sleeve because then you're like well I don't know which shade it is. So that is my collection guys okay guys thank you so much for sticking that out with me that was a super long video i think it's going to be like an hour long and i tried to make it short i tried to go through as fast as i can but that was hard to do it was harder than i thought because i thought i'm just going to run through everything and it'll be quick and yeah no not so much thank you guys for requesting that video thank you so much for sticking it out for watching it um before i let you go you know i have to give you the verse of the day and today's comes from luke 10 27 and it says love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. You know I appreciate each and every one of you. Your comments are always so sweet and so uplifting. They always make my day. If you have not already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. This way you're notified of any future videos that I do post. You can follow me at Instagram at Michelle's Glamour. And if you did like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, guys, I'll see you very soon in the next video. Take care. And if you have any requests, you know you can list them or include them in the um, comment section below, and that way I can add it to my to-do list for a video. All right, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.